Well, I messed up. We what do you say, everybody? This is Tony, Ashley Homestead. And would you look at what today looks like? It is 65 degrees, the sun is shining, and it feels wonderful outside. Compared to yesterday, whenever I was doing the uh, cutting the metal for our raised beds, but this morning I've been busier in a one one arm paper hanger. So let me show you what we've been into this morning. We got the, uh, I went ahead and cut the lumber for the raised beds off camera, but I hadn't put it together yet. So let me show you what we got. All right, so as y'all know, this is gonna be our raised bed garden area out here uh, beside the house. This morning I went ahead and cut the lumber for the sides of the raised bed to hold the metal that I had cut yesterday and what it's going to be is basically just a bottom frame and a top frame uh, holding the metal together to give it stability and structure without it uh, flopping around. The metal itself is uh, got corrugated ribs in it and it will give it uh, structure strength but I've got everything cut got everything prepped and ready to go so I'm going to start assembling the raised beds all right let's get at it All right, what you see me put the uh, two frames together. One is the top and one is the bottom. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. But the, uh, we've got a top and a bottom. The bottom is just gonna be straight two by four wrapping around the metal. And then the top is actually gonna be where it will set on top of the metal. Let me flip the camera around here. Okay, so as you can see, inside the 2x4, there's a little lip right here, and the metal will set down inside of that. And that way, when it's flipped over, you'll be able to, uh, you know, you won't have to be in fear of cutting yourself on the metal that is uh, sticking out or anything like that. So that's what that little frame is for, is to be able to do that, and it'll be on the sides and on the end of it and anyway I just want to explain that just for a minute about the two because you see me put four more boards on top of this one as compared to this one this one's going to be the bottom of the raised bed and we don't have to have any fear of uh, being cut down on the bottom of the raised bed so I just wanted to explain that so anyway I got that explained and I'm going to build the other frame and uh, then we'll come back and start attaching some of the metal, metal to the uh, raised bed frames. Well, I messed up. We had to run to the grocery store and came back and I set the camera up 
to show putting the metal on the raised beds, but the battery was dead. So I was working away thinking I was recording and come back to it and of course the camera was dead. So anyway, just to let y'all know, we did finish up the uh, putting the metal in the raised beds and I'll show you what those look like. Okay, here is our two raised beds with the metal attached to them and the wood holding them together. And these are 18 inches tall by 3 foot wide by 9 foot long. And the way I attach that metal to those is on the inside. I showed you where the lip was inside. Had some... Uh, tapping screws and attach those in the ribs every rib down the length and the sides of the raised bed and we just turn them over and set them here on the ground and we have our pile of compost under the silage tarp and we're getting ready to fill them up All right, there we go. Anyway, we had our about seven loads in our wheelbarrow to fill up the raised bed with our mushroom compost and the uh, bark that we used, and we got it just about full. Well, it is full, but we're gonna let it settle in for a day or two and get ready to do some planting in it. And so anyway, Dana's gonna tell you what we've got. Hey y'all, it's Dana from Ashbury Homestead. Um, just want to let you know that Tony has done a fabulous job in building these raised beds. I'm so proud of him, so thankful that he done this. But we have been to the Amish market today and um, so we wanted to see what all they had. And of course, we couldn't leave without getting any goodies as far as sourdough bread and cookies and they have all kinds of good stuff. But we also picked up some comfrey and sweet potato slips. So come over here and I'll show you what we got. So we've already got one uh, comfrey plant that's been growing, but I wanted to get some more. And so um, these are the ones from the Amish and uh, they look really good and healthy. And so I'll be glad to get those. We got three more of those. And then we got some, um, these are the purple, let's see, no, this is Beauregard, and then um, this is the Mr. Purple sweet potato, and we love these, these are so good. And we were wanting to get the white sweet potatoes, but they were out of those, so we're gonna wait till they get some more of those um, next time we go. Uh, so the market is not 
far from us at all, so we'll be able to, um, you know, go there as we can uh, to get some stuff. So, and I've, I've got some Beauregard planted um, already, some slips um, in their temporary home until I can move them to the potato bed. So, you guys stop by our homestead and follow us along our journey. Um, we're just starting over getting everything uh, done from moving and this is the first time we've had a large raised bed uh, area and a wicking tub area so um, we're, we're just doing it as we can so we're glad y'all stopped by y'all have a wonderful wonderful day all right everybody we appreciate you stopping by and we'll catch y'all on the next video y'all have a happy and blessed easter have a wonderful easter everybody and we'll see y'all on the next one bye